Well, every day challenges need smart solutions and the gadget king himself, Steve Greenberg, has ideas that can solve some of life's nagging problems. Today we're going to be looking at five problems and five gadgets that solve those problems. First problem are smartphones. We all spend too much time on our smartphones and we're missing out on the real life in front of us. The solution is the RO Smart Box. It's not only a place to store and charge your smartphone, but it's also a place to learn to be away from your smartphone. You can just put your phone in here and be in the moment. Once you drop your phone in the box, it automatically connects to the app that tracks your time away from your phone and then gamifies the experience. So you ultimately learn to appreciate your phone-free time. So now you can focus on your family, have a meaningful conversation with a friend, or even read a book. It's all about changing your relationship with your phone. Now if you want more information, go to GoARO.com. Okay, problem number two. What do you do about your shoes and your feet during nasty weather? Here's the solution. These are seal shoe covers right here. They fit into this little packet just like that. And they're great for any kind of shoe, whether it be a, a man's shoe like this, or it could be a tennis shoe or a sneaker, or even a lady's high heel. It all works in here. In fact, it's reinforced for the high heel. It's got some other great features like a, a little emergency pocket right here. It's got a non-slip bottom on it and they're washable, reusable. They come in 10 different styles and it's all unisex. Really a great idea. You should have them in the office, in the car, at home, everywhere. Check them out at sealshoes.com. The next problem is kick scooters. Kids love them, but they're kind of awkward and hard to store. They're awfully big. They weigh a lot. There's no place to store them, but yet kids need them. What's the solution? It's right here. This is the Valor Kick Scooter from Spin Master. What's amazing about it, it weighs only nine pounds and it folds up. Let me show you. It literally can fit into a locker or I have it in this backpack right here. Just take it out and you can see how small this folds up to and kids love it. Easy to fold and unfold and absolutely solves that Kickstarter problem. This is really amazing. Now the fourth problem is with all of this crazy weather, you could lose your power. The solution, a Geniverse Home Power Generator. Now in the past I've told you about the Home Power One, now they've come out with the Home Power One Pro. And this uses a new battery technology. You can still charge it plugging into the AC outlet or plugging into your car or plugging into solar panels that it comes with, but it's much faster now. And since there's no gasoline involved, it's safe to use indoors. The new solar panels are larger and more efficient. And it's got this big display on it so you can see what's going on, how much charge is left, and it even has a built-in light so you can also have some emergency lighting if you need it. Uh, it still holds a charge for one year, and in the case of a refrigerator, the old Home Power One would keep it for up to about 10 hours. The Home Power One Pro will actually keep that refrigerator going for up to 20 hours. And you can still charge all of your tech devices using the outlets right here in front. It has some USB ports. You can even plug in a power strip to plug in more things at the same time. Now, if you want more information on the Home Power One Pro, go to Geniverse.com. And finally, our fifth problem, the age-old problem of opening up a jar that just won't open. But the solution's really simple. It's RoboTwist, the automatic jar opener. Just put it on top of the jar, push this button, and RoboTwist does the work for you. Incredible. Five problems and I got you out of a jam <laughs> each time. Now if you want more information on anything I talked about today, go to stevegreenberg.tv and click on my blog. Oh thanks Steve. For more information about the items Steve talked about today, go online to stevegreenberg.tv slash blog.